is an example of this dynamic in the Parsha this week. This week is Parshat Bo, and Bo means come. Bo el paro, the divine, is telling Moses to come to Pharaoh. And of course, as we know, this is what Moses is doing over and over again. Moses is giving Pharaoh feedback. Like, hey, you know, this is what you need to do. You need to, you know, shalach ami, send my people out. And if you don't, then this is going to have, this is going to be the consequence. And it's like banging his head against the wall. And yet, Moses is called, and this word bow is kind of a calling. It's, it's literally, it's Moses is calling encapsulated in one word. Keep on coming back. Keep on coming back and talking to Pharaoh. Why did he have to talk to Pharaoh so many times? Why not just do a miracle and the people leave? But it's, it's showing this dynamic that arises in life where there's some kind of problem, some kind of situation, something stuck either within ourselves, something we have to change in ourselves, or that we know we'd be better off if we did change within ourselves. Or it might be a situation external to us that is not budging. And yet, rather than abandoning it, there can be this calling to come back to it again and again, even though it's frustrating. You know? I think there are probably plenty of situations where it is probably best to abandon it, but the situations where it's best to keep coming back again and again, to my mind anyway, have to do with loved ones and family. Right? You don't normally think of Pharaoh as a symbol for a loved one. But at the same time, Pharaoh is classically seen as a symbol for ego, which really means our own ego. Right? So it's, that's the closest family there is, is ourselves. You know? So, ah, with children, I experience it myself so much. You know? I know what would be good. I can give the feedback. But the temptation, of course, is to be, is to clench, is to be controlling about it, to be negative about it, right? And so that's the, the wisdom that I want to invite us to open to, is how to do what we're called to do, how to bow el paro, to come to what needs to be fixed, to come to the the calling that we alone are seeing. Moses says, why me? Not me. It doesn't, shouldn't be me. He rebels, but at, the, but at some point he surrenders. And so here we also have this dynamic between humility and empowerment. Because normally we associate empowerment with... Um, with ego, with uh, arrogance. Like, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to change the world, right? There can be a sense of arrogance in that. And yet, the tradition says that Moses is like the most humble person that ever lived, and yet he's this big leader that's doing this very empowered thing. But he didn't want to do it. And so we see this, the concept of arrogance in its more subtle form. Arrogance can be, arrogance doesn't have to be imposing myself in an obvious way. Arrogance can be imposing my idea of how things should be on the world. Moses' idea was it shouldn't be me. That was his ego idea. I want to relax. I don't want to go and do that. And then the, the, the calling was, though, no, you, this is your job. You have to come. So this is kind of like... Uh, something for each of us to open to in our exact situations in our lives. We're not going to open to someone else's calling. We have to hear what is our own calling. 